Hello students, it's me, your instructor Al Trujillo, and I wanted to show you a little bit about latitude and longitude on Earth. And uh, I have a globe here that's uh, visible from my video camera. And uh, one thing you can notice about a globe is that it has these lines on it. So we have these lines that run horizontally like this. These are actually the lines of latitude. And we have lines that also run, you know, vertically across the globe as well. So they run up and down. So we get those lines as well. And what's interesting about this is that um, you can define a spot uh, anywhere on the Earth and it has a unique set of coordinates. So let's say you found like you've been out here somewhere in a boat and you find a particular good fishing spot. And with that fishing spot then you want to return to that. So we can use something like latitude and longitude here to help us determine where that is. So here's the same kind of a thing. So here's uh, latitude and longitude uh, broken up into the different components which produce a coordinate system. But in terms of what differences that you notice, um, and there are several here, one thing is, is that latitude lines are horizontal. So the latitude lines go across the globe this way, longitude lines are vertical, and that creates some interesting other consequences here. Uh, latitude lines are parallel to one another. Notice they're exactly parallel, but the longitude lines curve. They meet at actually two points, the north and the south poles. And then the third difference is that the longitude lines, they're all the same length. So for longitude, um, we could have picked any place as the zero or starting point. Uh, and we've all agreed as to what we're going to use for the world. Uh, but for latitude, there's a more uh, natural starting point, that would be the equator. So it's the longest line of latitude and uh, then we get uh, lines of latitude then that are measured from the equator. For longitude, the zero degrees is what's called the prime or the Greenwich meridian and it goes right through Greenwich, England, which is a suburb of London. Um, so, and you can actually visit that place if you'd like and stand right on the zero degrees longitude line. Let me also show you this. Here's a cutaway view of the Earth showing how Latitude and longitude are really measured in angles. They're measured in degrees, uh, degrees of arc. So it's an angle. And it's using, for example, New Orleans. So for looking at latitude here, uh, and maybe just a little bit about um, uh, these angles here. So anytime you have two lines and, uh, you know, you can measure that angle in between it. And uh, that angle is, is how we use uh, these measurements of latitude and longitude. If we have a different angle that has a larger angle between the two lines, uh, that differentiates them from a smaller angle. So here what it's looking at is New Orleans, so it's got this 30 degrees latitude here, so it's, it's measuring this angle here, so it's a 30 degree uh, angle from Earth's center. So it's from Earth's center to the starting point up to where it's being measured to New Orleans. It also has Greenwich, England on there and it doesn't draw the line, but let me draw that in there. And you can see that this is a larger angle, that's 52 degrees. Or if we went directly up to the North Pole here, if I can draw that straight, uh, really what we're looking at here is a right angle or 90 degrees. Now for longitude it's the same thing, it's measured from the center of the Earth and um, it's showing that for New Orleans it's going west of zero degrees longitude. So it's got uh, this angle here, which is a 90 degree angle, and uh, that's where New Orleans is. So that's how we measure latitude and longitude. Now, on a typical marine chart, it might look something like this. This is our um, typical marine chart for San Diego to Santa Rosa Island. And where are the latitude lines on here? So uh, where's the latitude scale on the chart? And where that is, it's over on the side. And this is what it looks like enlarged here. So there's the symbol for degrees. And then it's broken up into, each degree is broken up into 60 minutes, actually. So one degree is equal to 60 minutes. So each minute here, um, so we, you know, it's actually quite far from 33 to 34 degrees. That would be about 60, not, that would be exactly 60 nautical miles. So the lines of latitude, it's measured north to south from the equator, but they go across the map like this. In fact, here's one I'm kind of sketching on. Here's another one that I'm sketching on here. And the lines of longitude, there'd be a similar scale, but they go, if I could draw these straight, uh, up and down on the map. So there'd be a similar scale down here, and that would be for longitude. So that's how latitude and longitude are, are measured and recorded on a chart.